This here is a map of Europe. And this is a map of the early Roman Republic. Oh, wait a minute. What Roman Republic? There's nothing here. That's because the year is 771 BC. The early Roman Republic does not yet exist. However, this is also the year where two very important men would be born. Twin brothers who would go on to found one of the greatest civilizations in European history. This is the story of Romulus and Remus. Ancient Europe, a time of exploration, seafarers, and colonization. And speaking of colonization, that is where our story starts. As legend has it, this area here was settled by Trojans who survived the war with Greece. Now, this claim is a bit difficult to justify as there aren't many resources to verify for certain that this was the case. But for the sake of the video, this will be the story we'll go by. With this guy taking the lead, these Trojans would sail around the Mediterranean and land here. Upon arrival, these Trojans would raid and plunder the local Latin population who migrated into the area several hundred years prior to this event. Their leader, King Latinus, real creative name I know, would gather an army to stop the Trojans. But upon seeing the rough shape they were in, and after hearing their story, he would strike a deal with the Trojans. The two factions would form an alliance in return for the Trojans settling in the area. And to make the alliance official, Aeneas would marry the daughter of Latinus. This is inhuman! Selling me off to some stranger who literally was just attacking our people? Don't I get to say in what happens to me? Shut up, Lavinia! This is ancient politics! Women of this day are always being used as a political leverage. After the alliance was formed and a few wars with the Rotuli and the Etruscans, Latinus would fall in battle, leaving Aeneas as the sole ruler of both factions. Aeneas himself would also die in battle, but not without securing victory first. For the next few generations, kingship would pass from father to son as the kingdom expanded. But these peaceful transfers would come to an end when King Numitor would be ousted by his younger brother Amulius, and his son executed, leaving Amulius as the sole ruler of the kingdom. And to make sure Numitor's legacy would stay down, he made Numitor's only daughter, Rhea Silva, a vassal virgin, thereby ensuring that Numitor would have no legitimate heirs, or challenges to Amulius' power. There, now that I have established my power, let's talk about how I am going to run this place. <coughs> what the f Antonio? Can't you see that I am in the middle of a meeting here? My apologies, Amulius, but I thought you would be celebrating becoming a great uncle. Get those horrible things out of here before I- <coughs> Wait a minute, did you just say great uncle? You mean you haven't heard? She's been telling people that she was raped by a Mars, the god of war. I thought you would be happy to hear about that. I don't care if she gave birth to a legend. That child is going to take away her power someday. Arrest her at once. By the time Amulius got to her, it was too late. She had already given birth to twin boys. And for this, she would be imprisoned for the rest of her life. And to make sure her kids never took away his power, he ordered them to be thrown into the Tiber River. Well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and throw it in already. I'm not sure, Carlos. The river looks pretty high today. I am to get pulled in myself and drowned with them. Well, that would be a pickle now, wouldn't it? Hmm. How about instead we just leave them out here? They can't possibly survive on their own out here. And that way, we won't get pulled into the river ourselves. That is a much better idea! Screw this Egyptian remake! Let's go home! Now, normally, this would be the part of the story where the boys are found by a mother wolf who would raise them as one of her own. But the truth is, that was all a myth. Even the ancient Romans themselves would agree that being raised by a wolf was pretty ludicrous. So then, why is this the story we go by? Well, it turns out that Romulus and Remus were actually found by a shepherd and nursed by said shepherd's wife, who just so happened to be named Lupa, which in Latin translates to wolf. Hey, a wolfie! Look at what I have found near the river this morning! For the last time, stop calling me a wolf! I have a name, you know? Yeah, and it just so happens to mean a wolf. Now, but come on now! We have got some boys to raise! 
Romulus and Remus would grow up to be strong young men, and would often be seen raiding local brigands in their spare time, and were actually pretty successful in this gig. But their luck would run out when they found themselves lured into an ambush. Hey, Romulus. Yes, Remus? Hey, you think we a fellow full of the trap? What makes you say that? Because we are surrounded by brigands. Any ideas on how we are going to get out of these? Take a break for it! Hey, wait a minute! We were supposed to escape together, you a son of a bitch! Upon Remus's capture, the brigands would take him to their leader. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Remus, is that you? How do you know my name? Who are you anyway? It is me, your grandfather Numator! Having his grandson by his side, Numator has a plan to get his crown back from Amulius. With Romulus and Remus both leading one half of his army each, the boys would storm the city of Albalanga from two sides. The boys would then breach the city defenses and put an end to Amulius once and for all. Oh wait just a minute! Our grandfather is the bandit lord, our mother is a wolf, allegedly, and we just killed our great uncle? What kind of a family are we? A pretty normal one for the time, actually. Good job, my boys! I couldn't have done this without you! Hey, uh, listen. The people seem to really like you, boys. So how about we rule the city together? Just the three of us? Hmm... No. I have a better idea. Instead of sharing power with Numitor, the boys agreed to establish their own city and rule it themselves. However, there was a slight disagreement that would throw a wrench into their plans. I'm telling you, Oremus, the Palatine Hill is the perfect spot to build the city. No, 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 Romulus. Everyone knows that the Aventine Hill is where the prime real estate is. Palatine, Aventine, Palatine, Aventine, Palatine, Aventine! Alright, the jump. How do you want to settle this? Well, we could kill each other. Fine by me. Having slain his brother in one-on-one -on -one combat, Romulus would be free to rule the city himself. But that will be for another video.